Redneck, this is your first time in Louisiana. You gotta stay here though. Hold on. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. We have the Pro Drive and we pull it all the way here to Louisiana. Now, unfortunately, I did forget a sweatshirt. So I'm at the Family Dollar so I can get a jacket because we're gonna be doing all types of stuff today. We're gonna be bow fishing, we're gonna be fishing, we're gonna be gigging, we're gonna be doing pretty much everything. So gotta find the clothes. Haha, -ha. jackpot. We got shorts, we got tank tops, Jurassic Park pants. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I think I see long sleeves over here. What is the rhythm? You gotta get like this? You gotta get the momentum. Like this? All right, here we go. go. Let me show you how it's done real quick. Show off. They hit the, the <laughs> pole back here. All right, I need a jacket. All right, we got a little, we got a green sweater. Oh, I like that. Yeah, but I don't like the, for bow fishing, that's going to be so bright. You need the green need one. Green. A medium. It's a medium. That's a, a, a medium large, it's looking like. But this is looking like our best bet. Black or green? Both. Because you know one of them is going to get dirty. True. That's a large. A medium and a large. That only makes sense. This one's so much bigger. All right, so we got snacks. We got two sweatshirts because guaranteed one's gonna get probably pretty slimy. It's a little windy out here. The big alligator guards here are super, super, super slimy. So we're gonna see what happens. Load up the truck. We are going to see you guys at the Fish Intimidator Lodge, which is where we will be staying. We just pulled up to the Fish Intimidator Lodge, and if you guys have seen any of our Venice, Louisiana videos, this is where we stay. They take such good care of us. It's a beautiful lodge. They have an incredible like dining area and full kitchen over there. But we're gonna unpack some of our stuff. We're we're trying to do everything on this trip, so y'all are just along for the ride. Before we get the cabin all dirty, I want to show you guys the cabin. Before, we're in cabin two, as you can see right here. Might be a little dark in here, but you have your table, your nice kitchen. So if you want to cook any of your own foods, you have your own kitchen. But if you want food cooked for you, you go to the lodge next door. There's three bedrooms, one behind here, one upstairs, and one to your right. Which room are we in, do you know? But look, what's those two things up there? Triple tail. Is that what you came here wanting to get? Yeah, well, I hope so. I've been wanting to spearfish triple tail for a very long time. You cannot do it in Florida, but you can do it here in Louisiana. Do you know what room we're staying that in? One. This one? Too bad. The cat, meow. That oh. cat, oh no. We have redneck with us this trip. <laughs> this should be interesting. All right. Let's see, where's the light switch? I love these cats. Like I could live in this thing. Oh, I know. Bathroom, shower behind the door. Nice little walk-in shower. We got fish mounts everywhere. We Big old bull redfish. Fish. And, hold on. And there's two beds in each room. What? I'm six foot tall, so my wingspan is six foot. Look how oh. big that thing is. If I see one this big, I'm jumping off the front of the boat with my bare hands and I'm gonna pull a lull and I'm gonna catch him. I'll rip, put my hands down his throat, grab his heart oh. and take him to the boat. <laughs> You're gonna put your hands down that thing? Yeah, squirrel? right down it. It's no big. It, would be, it, it would be a good YouTube video. Me dealing with this thing's teeth is no different, probably less scary than dealing with you in the morning before you're really awake. False. False information. Listen, if anyone's hard to deal with, it's Blue Gabe. Fish Intimidator Lodge here in Venice, Louisiana. All right, let's get to unpacking, y'all. We'll see you guys out on the bayou. 
So before we catch these redfish, I want to give a huge shout out to Noom for sponsoring this video. Now, if you don't know what Noom is, it's an app that uses your lifestyle habits and psychology to make a personalized health plan just for you. Now, if you do watch my videos and you do know me, then you know I'm obsessed with health. And if you don't know me well, now you do. I love knowing what I put into my body. And nowadays, there's a lot of crap out there. You only get one body, so you might as well take care of it to the best of your ability. My favorite thing about Noom is there's no cookie cutter diets. And I was in the bodybuilding industry for quite some time and I did not like when I saw coaches giving one diet plan to all their athletes because everyone's body is different and reacts to diets and foods differently. And just for example, like when I was competing for a show, I was eating 300 grams of carbs a day, but I was losing weight eating 300 grams of carbs a day. Now, other athletes, especially female athletes, you know, if they ate 300 grams of carbs a day, they'd probably gain weight. So it's very important if you do do a diet or you wanna clean up your eating habits, that you do it correctly and you get a plan that's personalized for your body. And this is where Noom comes to play. Noom is a customer-led digital health platform. Noom leverages a combination of coaches, psychology, and science to empower people to take control of their health. Noom helps you keep track to meet and exceed your goals long before your plan length. On Noom, there's tons of different ways to track your progress. You can log meals, track your exercise, weight, blood pressure, and blood glucose. One of my favorite ways to use Noom is to track my water intake. I believe water is extremely important in weight losses, skin care, digestion, and just overall health. You can also find recipe ideas and log your daily meals. When you sign up for Noom, you get paired with a goal specialist that's trained in psychology, fitness, and nutrition. To start building healthy habits and sign up for your trial at noom.com slash Kelly Young. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash Kelly Young. Or just click the link in the description below. You guys, take care of your bodies. You only get one. Now, let's go catch those redfish. All right, so change of game plan. We actually went over to some structure and tried to spearfish. I was the only one that got in the water. It was super, super dirty where I was hoping when I dove down and hit that, that black darkness that it would open back up into clear water, but unfortunately it did not. I tried to shoot a big old sheep head and my shaft just ended up getting stuck in the rig and we don't have it. So we went over to the rocks. Now we're catching hopefully redfish. Joey's got one on right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't do that. Don't, that's what mine did and it came off. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Right here. Under the boat. Damn it. Damn it. I got the net ready. Okay. Come gotta, on. We got to do some procedural things. Oh, we're going to get around Keep it. it over here, no. A lot of bait over there or something. Them birds are going crazy. I can't exactly put the, put the wood on them. Put them on a little rod. Using that thing would be like driving a single cab Toyota Tacoma and thinking you're cool. Didn't they, didn't you like just stop driving? No, I had a, I had a Tundra. Oh. It don't matter. Here. We need to keep some of these shred to eat. Yeah, they look pretty good, huh? There has been a good great They're only catching a couple thousand pounds a day right now. Yeah. How come I got the net taken? Because you got... Well, I was going to do it, and then my hair started blowing in my face. I need to put my hair in a ponytail. So I couldn't see. It's only blowing 40 mile an hour. For real. Come on, fish. Where you Mock at? Mock Jesus. Mock Jesus. Mock Jesus. This fish is going fast. Give it. Give it. All right. We're making work. Making gains. Making gains. Should be coming maybe to the surface. Oh, yeah. Any yeah. day. No. Little run, little run. Put the heat on them, folks. Don't. <laughs> on oh, the, my rod. The mini, uh, the mini mighty right rod. Oh. oh, there he is. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, no. Get him. 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 Thank you, Cameron. First big old redfish of the day. Big, big old redfish. Yeah, that's a pretty one right there. Let me go over here. We need camp meat. Yep. This fish will be feeding the lodge. There we go. The wonderful red drum. 
pretty one. Yeah. Oh, there's Whoa. a spot. Oh, there's old a spot. no spot. Old ghost spot on this side. Very rare, very rare. Nice. Good job. Welcome to Louisiana. Listen, something picked up my bait and then I thought it dropped it, so I just let my line back out. And then he picked it up again. Acted funny, I thought I hit a rock. Sure enough, I reeled up the slack and, and it was a fish. All I had to say was we were Yeah. This Every is... time I say we're gonna leave, someone hooks a fish. Yeah, so the one that I just hooked uh, was as we were pulling away, trolling motor was up. And uh, it just happened again. So we just got to say we're leaving and we will get our limit in the next 15 minutes. We'll catch fish. All right, come on, buddy boy. He had a mean head shake at first, though. My right arm's a little tired. Captain Ron, if you had to guess, how many redfish do you think you've netted in your lifetime? A couple thousand. <laughs> oh gosh, more than that. About two million. Yeah, I'd say you're in deep into the five digits. You're doing good, man. Ooh, what a supportive much. man. How about that? My right arm got tired quick. Oh, but they all, they all. Oh, look at that! If Gabe can catch them, you know they're chewing. The redfish hate Gabe in Louisiana. I don't know why, they just don't like him very much. This is probably going to be a 30 inch trout. Woo, there he is. Oh, nice so redfish. Alright, come on, ready? Couple? Yeah, he's got us a couple extra. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nice work, Finally. Kelly. Alright. Look at that pretty one. What the? Oh, we got a nice double, a couple extra. Uh, extra, extra dots on them. Alrighty, now let's uh, work on old Gabriel Trump and Arrington's. Oh! Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a double. Like you've done it before. Look, babe, this is our first time doubling up on red. Oh, it's cute. How cute. How cute. Picture time. Alright, you guys, it's been a little hectic out on this boat today. It's probably blowing 25 the boat's rocking i actually tried to spearfish earlier the rigs but unfortunately the water was just way too dirty but we're allowed to keep four big red fish and we're going to go ahead and keep them that way ron has more fish to feed for his clients at the lodge look at that one two three four five six six and then three on that side how cool is that and they never stick their fins up either for photos this fish is doing pretty good. And he's probably 26 max. Yeah. So he's, actually, he's actually a slot fish. He does a big slot. He's a big old slot. All right. Oh, we're putting both these. Oh, yeah. All right. Bang, bang. Four big old reds. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> That's so he can catch three fish and it looks like a cooler full right. of fish. Better. <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing. He's been in the industry a long time. Very intelligent, knows what he's doing. Gabe's fish is not happy. What was that dance you just did? That was the get out of the way before the fish hits me dance. The anti-fish slap. This is Blue Gabe's red fish he just caught. First one of the trip for you, for all of us, I think. Actually, and a lot of people don't realize that you add water to the ice. By the time you fill up the whole box full of ice and water, by the time it's full of fish, there won't hardly be any ice left. So it'll be freezing cold water, yeah. and all the fish will be ice cold. But you better fish all the fish in the box. You create a saltwater slush with it. I'm Brian. I've heard that term so much since I've moved here. Make a slush. We're going to slush the box. Slush. Big thing to do here. I guess that makes a lot more sense. In Florida, we say brine. A nice fish brine. But we're going to keep fishing. You better hit. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. All right, Captain Ron Price. Let's see what you got. Well, I'm an after that. Come on, Ron. He's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. can. <laughs> this is Ron's first redfish. Oh, yeah. nice and steady. First redfish <laughs> ever, Ron. First one I've ever caught. He pulls pretty good. Oh, man. These are what you call them. He pulls like a large mouth bass. Oh, oh. he's eating me good. I'm sure you know this thing. Oh, goodness. You 
a feisty one. Come on. There you go. In the boat. Good work. Pink one. Look how rosy he is. The rose gold. <laughs> that redfish is super feisty. Here. I want to get. I want to get in the sun. Wow. Yeah, I got there you our go. Overs. We're gonna. Oh. Landing, that was a that was a really good perfect, dive in the water. Dive. Absolutely. Look how blue his tail is. I he's love that blue he's tails. A chunker. For those of you who don't know, these redfish will get blue tails, similar to how a flamingo will get pink bodies or ibises or spoonbills for eating shrimp. These guys eat blue crabs. Uh, their tail turns blue. Look at that. That's about as blue as I've ever seen one, actually. That's awesome. I've only seen it on the tips. I haven't never seen it come out the sides. That'd be actually a really cool mount. A mega blue tail. Yeah. That'd be a beautiful fish mount. Big chonker. Pretty fish. Pretty fish indeed. How are you hooking your bait? Because you're the only one seeming to catch them. You know, I just trying stuff till it works, Kelly. <laughs> That time it was just a, 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 that was dead shrimp that I was working on the surface. These birds right here, they're picking on this rip line. There's some glass minnows or something that they keep on picking at. And like 20 minutes ago I saw, which I thought were like redfish right underneath the surface eating, but I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. I thought I was just seeing stuff, but uh, clearly I wasn't. Ain't no need to buy fish when you got fish. All right, little guy. Thank you for your sacrifice. Yes, sir. It's gonna be good. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, Ron. Well, we switched over to popping corks and live shrimp. Getting her done. Go back Put Sabrina home. back. He's probably ready to go. We're gonna give him a couple shakes. Make sure it's real ready. There he goes. We are back at the lodge right now. We decided to call it quits because the wind picked up even more. But we had a successful trip because we did slay a bunch of big old redfish. Redneck is super happy to be out of the room right now. He did go with us on the pro drive last night. Um, to set out some catfish lines for Gabe's video. Right now he's back in the pro drive because we're actually taking a thumbnail right now. A lot of thought normally goes into thumbnails because that's the first impression you see when you see a video on YouTube. So here's a little sneak peek. What we got going on here? I showed him a little sneak peek. Sneaky peek? A sneaky peek, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna have some blue cat, some gar, and some stingray for dinner, as well as some redfish. <laughs> Whew. All right, y'all, we are ready for dinner. Now, Blue Gabe did make some blue catfish, gar, and stingray for dinner, so we just made a little sliver of redfish Gabe, for you guys. Gabe let me cook one piece. He, he was all, so nice to let me cook. <laughs> Chef extraordinaire, just trying to rub off on old Joey BT. What do we have? El Redfish. Uh, but before, before, look at this. Island Key merch. <laughs> we got the beautiful, what kind of snapper is this? Mouton. Mouton snapper. The mutton And snapper. I tell you what, I bought this. Kelly, like, she didn't even give it to me. I just, you know, support channels, support friends. I was about to say, if you got one of her shirts and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I spent money. I spent my hard earned money. And I tell you what, I was hoping to wear this on my own videos, you know, uh, fishing offshore, doing inshore charters, offshore charters, but this falls under the category of shirts that are way too comfortable and I like way too much to wear it out there. So I do need to get another one. Um, but this is one of the more, you so, know, comfortable shirts I have. I'm no, I'm, I'm going on and on. <laughs> you need to order an Island Key shirt. These are, these are good, but however, Below I need to make video. sure I order more before you say this. So they don't go out of, okay, you can go. Ahead. You're good, do a little spin. Do a little spin. A little spin. So this is the mutton snapper. I have three. What kind of snapper? 
Mutton. 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 The mutton snapper with cigar minnows around it and starfish on the bottom. And then I have two more. It is a lionfish with an anchor and then, what's the other one? Oh, a hogfish on the reef. So it's been something I've been working on for a couple months. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do shirts or not, but I'm gonna give it a shot. If you go below this video in the description somewhere, you'll see Kelly Young merch and just click it and look for yourself. Now you get to eat it. Sorry about that. Now we get to eat the redfish. While I'm eating this though, I'm gonna show you the other half of the Fish Intimidator Lodge, which is this beautiful building right here. Check out that big old Louisiana alligator though. We got fish mounts everywhere, real fish mounts. Triple tail, big old redfish, which we were gonna try to shoot some triple tail today, but the water was so dirty. I mean like, normally the water's dirty, you can dive down. You have to guide your hand on the pillar the entire time or you won't know which way is up and which way is down. So you have to guide your hand down the pillar. It will get super dark, super dark and murky, and then it's supposed to open up. However, I got to the dark and murky part, and then I sank down some more, and it was still dark and murky, so I'm like, you know what? I'm the only one in the water. I'm playing it safe. I'm gonna go back up. So unfortunately, I tried to shoot at a massive sheep head, and I lost my shaft, let's just say that. We got a beautiful bar. We got a pool table. We got this shuffleboard game, I think it is. Oh, and then check this out. Blue Gabe and Kelly Young little collage over here from the Fish Intimidator Lodge. We got Red Knit. We got the coffee station. And the kitchen. Excuse me, Gabriel Arrington. Like you're in, are you surely you're not still out there talking to the camera? <laughs> oh. What's the one with top? And right over here we have the kitchen where if you do come stay at the lodge, you can have your breakfast, lunch for the boat ready, and dinner made. All here at the Fish Intimidator Lodge in Venice, Louisiana. For right now this video is ending. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a positive comment below. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya. See you, bye.